Don't you like to have these percentages on top of how lucky you are? Do you want to see what your last opponents had? That's this side. <laughs> or do you want to know how to get those fancy things like uh, knowing what your starting MMR was and how much you climbed in a day? Do you want to know what's good about deck tracker and do you want to know what's bad about it? Because obviously everything has pros and cons. And I'm also going to share with you why I myself play without deck tracker even though I'm a leaderboards player. So the breakdown of the video, if you look at the timeline of this YouTube video, is, is chopped into parts. You can skip ahead to which part you want to watch or check the description. So there's everything about the deck tracker for some battlegrounds that you need to know in order to get it going. This is my unfiltered opinion. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, so I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. I'm also not really gonna talk about all the premium features that it has because I'm not trying to sell a product here. But hey, HS Replay, if you're watching, hit me up. <laughs> so let's install it first. So if you wanna download it, the first link in the description should bring you to the right page. Anyway, we just open up Google and we look up Hearthstone Deck Tracker. And yeah, first thing that pops up is HS Replay. So when you're greeted with the HS Replay side, first thing you instantly see is Download Deck Tracker. Uh, if you don't see this, there's this download button on the top right or in the middle. Just click that and you are brought to this page. HS Replay, also if you click here on Battlegrounds, you can see some of the best performing uh, Battlegrounds heroes in this meta. And you can have more filters and more options again if you have premium. So I don't have Deck Tracker. I actually never installed it on this computer. So it's gonna look exactly the same for you if this is the first time you do it. We just click Download and I assume, yeah, it just starts downloading. Now we click this and hope we don't get hacked. <laughs> so we get their logo. Wait, it's done? It's that simple? I literally just click the download, I open the program and it's done. Uh, it makes you an automatic desktop shortcut for you. So this is what it looks like. You don't have to worry about any of this because this is all standard and normal hardware stuff. And we're here to play Battlegrounds, right? The superior game mode. So real quick, I'll guide you through things that you need to know for Battlegrounds. Um, if you just keep this on and play Battlegrounds, it's automatically gonna show you the percentages on top of the screen and other basic features. Now, if you wanna have a little bit of a hand in that and change some settings, here's the options and it opens all the options. Now on the bottom, I recommend you check advanced options because then it shows more stuff as well for you to mess around with. So if you're a streamer, you can check these bottom two options. But uh, for Battlegrounds, it's mainly right here in Overlay Battlegrounds. You get to select what you want to happen. So this shows the Battlegrounds tiers, all the units on every tier. This shows the turn that we are currently on. So you keep those checks if you want to see that. Enable Combat Simulation is mainly just showing the percentages. If you want to know how unlucky or how lucky you are for a fight or what your odds are of winning or tying. Show results during combat phase and it just shows those results while the combat starts. If you uncheck this, you can also do this and it just shows the results after the fight is done or you can just not check any of these and it's not gonna show you the results. But yeah, if you uncheck both, then you can manually click on the top to either hide the results or show the results if you wanna see them or not. You can also check show average damage and then you know how much damage you should deal on average or take if that's something you're interested in. So I'm just gonna do it like this, uh, which is I think how most people have it. And if you're a Battlegrounds streamer, you can also click capture Battlegrounds overlay and this is where you can set an overlay for OBS. If you go to tracker and settings, you can also do settings like if it should start up automatically when you start up um, your windows or if it closes as you close Hearthstone. Uh, just the basic stuff if you want to configure or set up um, and automate your HS deck tracker. Now we're going to talk about the new fancy things like showing uh, what MMR you started with on the climb or how much MMR you gained or lost in a day and stuff like that. These are plugins. Uh, there's multiple plugins that you can install for Battlegrounds. There's not that many yet. I think they're, they're going to add more as well. I think you can even write your own plugins for deck tracker so if you are handy with coding you can um, add some yourself again these are very easy to add i'll show you how you go about doing that we see under tracker plugins we click that and currently this list is empty now if you click available plugins this this button it instantly pops up a side and it explains completely how like how you should install them we're gonna do method one because it's the easiest and here we see available plugins most of these plugins are for normal hearthstone uh, but at the bottom all the way the last one right here boonwins battlegrounds tracker is one for battlegrounds that shows those statistics that I talked about. So once you're on this page and you want the latest update here on how to install, it says click here and you get to the release pages. So you can all see all the releases, all the latest updates. If you click the top one, you get the most recent version. Uh, so we click this, it automatically downloads it and I'm gonna put it on my desktop. So right now it's sitting right here. We need to unblock it first because it, it's a file that your computer might not recognize. So properties, then uh, right here we see unblock. We just check that box, click apply, and then we need it in the plugins folder. So I'm gonna open the plugins folder, which is empty right now. And I'm gonna copy this link, which is the directory or the place where this folder is on your computer and then close it. So you do it again by clicking this button and just copying the directory or just remembering it. 
Uh, now we want to extract this. Most Windows uh, computers already have a way to extract zip files, but if not, you need to find additional software. So extract, um, and then I just want to paste the um, directory in here, which is the plugins folder. Click OK, extract, and there we go. So now if we open the plugins folder, as you can see, it's here. All the files are in here. Beautiful, amazing. You're pretty much done now. All we need to do is restart deck tracker and it should be there. So options, plugins, there we go. To enable it, just click this and it's on. Now, if you go to settings, there's multiple things you can pick color. Uh, you have to mess around with it yourself. I'm not too familiar with it, but you can also see what tribes are banned in the lobby, which is very easy. I'm gonna make it full screen so I can see all the options, simple overlay. You can even see leaderboards, that's pretty pog. You can even do sounds for top eights. <laughs> Stats? It, it, it keeps track of your stats. So that's how you add a simple plugin, for example, for Battlegrounds. This is the main one right now. Now I'll quickly show you what this looks like in game and all the options you have, and then we're gonna move on to the pros and the cons. First of all, I'm gonna enable some important things that are very useful with this plugin. I'm gonna uh, show banned tribes. Of course, the in game overlay is important. Uh, I don't really care about leaderboards. Let's skip a game on my alt. <laughs> So as you can notice here, it shows uh, the first places and eight places. Right now I have none because uh, I haven't played yet. My MMR is 2718, very high, I know, I know. And it already shows the band tribes over here. You can also move this around with the tracker. I'm just gonna play some Yogg. So this is what the deck tracker has to offer for you. First of all, uh, it shows you the turn. Currently we are turn one. You can also see what uh, units are on every single tier. As you can see, it's a 100% tie, no win or no loss here because of the units that we have. Uh, average damage is zero. So we just fought Rag, so if you go over Rag, we can see on top what his last board was. It was just a 2-2 taunt. And with the plugin, again, it also shows my MMR and my peak right now. It shows the tribe spend as well over here. And that's pretty much it. A bunch of extra tools for you to help you with your game. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the pros of the stack tracker while I'm playing this game. Obviously, because of the percentages on top, you can see whether you're really strong or weak. So if you have a high percent, obviously you're stronger than your opponent. So even if you lose the fight, you know that you're ahead so it's a good way to judge your board compared to your opponents objectively without um, just basing yourself on the outcome of the fights another one is that um, you see the turn timer you, after 10 gold you can't really know what turn it is unless you're keeping track luckily the deck tracker keeps track for you also if your memory is shit you can now just look at what your lost opponent had without having to remember but yeah it's really good if you have a shitty memory like myself <laughs> and then a final pro is basically that you see all the units on every tier so if you are going for a triple you can judge based off uh what is on what tier whether you should take it or just freeze and go for another one if you see there's no elementals and dragons in the lobby then you see there's no caligals and no lil rag and genie and then maybe you're more inclined to go for a five drop maybe a mama bear would be nice or maybe you're looking for um, a sneed to just get good tempo or a brand or a light thing. And now it's time to talk about the cons because there are so many pros to it. Most people uh, play with deck tracker for a specific reason, right? It just helps you out in multiple ways. But here are some cons because of course not everything is rainbow and sunshines. One is you get very lazy. You don't really care about uh, knowing about all units on all the tiers. You don't care about what your opponent played. Uh, you don't care about anything because deck tracker does all of that for you. So whenever there is an update of deck tracker uh, or like a new tribe added to battlegrounds or something goes wrong and you can't rely on deck tracker you're gonna perform worse you're gonna have a tougher time things are kind of gonna suck for you another one is still what i notice is i get very very angry and upset if i notice that uh, i lose a fight that i should have won like let's say this one i have 72 percent loss if i win i'm gonna feel good but if it's the other way around if i have 72 percent to win and i lose that one i'm just gonna feel like shit because i feel like all is rng and i can't do anything about it i do have an entire video talking about uh, um uh, RNG aspect is the game just all RNG and how it messes with your mental because you always I think everyone that watches this video re you right now sitting behind the camera you're gonna think that you get more unlucky than lucky right you think that you get screwed over more than you get lucky probably but that's everyone because that's just how it works you remember the bad things more than the good things and this deck tracker reinforces that so you can get really mad at percentages uh, don't let numbers ruin your life and the last major thing is you get really result oriented you don't really care anymore about what goes on the fight all you care about is how your percentages look like if you're favorite or not and if you get scammed or if you scam or if you're just winning a favorite fight that's it you become so focused on the outcome of the fight that you don't pay attention to the fight anymore itself and you lose track of why you actually 
lost the fight. Like, now I'm 100% winning it, I'm just gonna be like, okay, nice, I won the fight, I'm strong. But without deck checker, you're gonna pay more attention to why I won the fight. What is it? Obviously, it's because we got these dudes and he can't deal with it. Also, the stunt is gonna farm him pretty hard. So by focusing less on purely the results, you will focus more on the fight itself and the game itself and what is going on, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, why you're losing, why you're winning, stuff like that. You also get better at judging fights. I can now see if I got lucky hits or bad hits much more efficiently than if I would play with deck checker because if I see my hits are garbage and I barely lose a fight, I know I'm generally really strong. I don't need a deck checker to tell me that if that makes sense. So now, finally, why do I play without deck checker as a 14k player on EU? Simple. I get the question a lot. Every time I stream, people ask me, why do you play without deck checker? So here's the answer. First of all, I like training my memory. By now, I have memorized all the units on every single tier. I know what's on tier 3, I know what's on tier 4, I know what tribes have what key units. That's because I played so much and eventually if you are not relying on a extension, you just become the extension. <laughs> Does that make sense? So I have a much easier time making decisions and knowing what I'm looking for because I like a bit of a challenge. Uh, secondly, I also like to observe the fights more. Without deck tracker, I look more at what actually happens in the fight, how the hits go, if I should reposition. So again, this ties in with the previous point with the con is that you become too result oriented. Instead of focusing on the results, I focus on what is actually happening on the board. And last but not least, less tilt. I noticed a very positive impact on how I react to the game. Instead of getting mad or feeling bad, I like if I lose a fight, I lose a fight. I don't know if it was a 1% loss or if it was a 90% loss. I kind of know because you can see how the, uh, the fight goes, of course. I know if I got lucky or unlucky, but I am not as heavily impacted anymore or feel as bad anymore because I don't care. I lost the fight, sure. You get as lucky, as much luck as you get unlucky. That's again referring to the RNG video. Everything is in the end a big 50 50. Let me win this game real quick. Uh, but while I do, I want to thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, of course, don't forget to leave a like on this video as it helps me out and that helps this video spread to more people. You know, if you want more content, more guides, uh, generally I do better guns guides, you can always subscribe as well to be notified when they appear in your inbox. And uh, that's about it. Hope you have a good one. Good luck on the battle guns and enjoy deck tracker if you choose to play with it. Well, I guess you're dead. <laughs>